This is an application called Raise to Answer. And as the name so helpfully implies, with this app installed on your phone, anytime you receive a phone call from there on after, all you need to do is raise your phone to your ear and it will answer the call automatically. There are a few settings you can tweak, including an option to decline calls by putting your phone down screen first. But in my testing with the Pixel 6a over the past few weeks, this app has worked perfectly. Seriously handy stuff. From there we have FloatTube, and this is an app that emulates YouTube's picture-in-picture -picture functionality, normally only available to premium users. The app actually looks quite a lot like the stock YouTube app, which is pretty great, but you simply find a video that you wanna watch, tap on it, and there you go. It'll immediately start playing in a little picture-in-picture -picture window. You can then close the app and the video will of course continue to play. And from there, you can resize the window, minimize it off to the side, or even set a timer for when the player should close automatically. It's pretty great that an app like this exists, although I've got to say, I'm kind of surprised Google still lets it exist on the Play Store, but I'm not complaining though. All right, the Nothing Phone 1 was officially launched just a few weeks ago, which by the way, I have pre-ordered it, so subscribe to see coverage of that phone here on the channel. But to mark the occasion, one of my favorite Icon Pack designers, Just New Designs, has managed to put together an incredible new Icon Pack in honor of the phone called the Nothing Icon Pack. And man, I honestly think that this is the design that Nothing should have used for their own launcher, because these icons look amazing. At the time of making this video, the pack already has over 1700 icons, which is fantastic. And what's really cool is that there are also 105 nothing inspired wallpapers within the app, as well as nine KWGT widgets, all of which combine to make some incredibly striking home screen setups. I even made this setup using elements just from the Nothing Icon Pack that got published to my palette application a little while back. So a really fantastic icon pack that is well worth checking out. Oh, and if you want to get this icon pack for free, along with a bunch of other apps featured in this video, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the first week or so of this video going live, which you can do so using the link below. Now, speaking of customization, another incredible widget pack I've been using lately is the MIUI widgets for KWGT pack. The pack currently has 66 seriously phenomenal looking widgets, all inspired by the MIUI design language. But in my humble opinion, these widgets are a thousand times better than any widgets or features you'll find on a device running MIUI. In fact, most of these widgets could seriously act as a full on home screen replacement, given how many components a lot of the widgets pack in. There are, of course, the more minimal widgets as well, if you prefer adding your own icons to your home screen. But whichever way you go, every single widget in this pack looks amazing and I can highly recommend checking it out. Now, if you've been spending some time creating a beautiful home screen setup and you're looking to share it online, then Screenshot Framer is a fantastic new tool that'll help to make your screenshots look even better. When you open the app, you'll get the option to select whether you wanna use the image or video mode. And from there, you'll see the full interface for designing your mock-up. You can obviously select the screenshot you want in the mock-up, but then in terms of customizing the actual mock-up itself, you can choose from a range of different background colors, including transparent, which is super helpful. You can also change the actual phone render, including whether it should have a hole punch. You can also add a reflection for more realism. Plus there's a few additional settings you can tweak as well. There is also a 3D mode that is currently in beta. However, I couldn't figure out how to load a screenshot in using this mode. So hopefully we'll see that fixed in a future update. All right, next up is Wallock. And this is a really unique app that you can use to transform WhatsApp into a GPS locator. All you need to do is install the app on whichever device you want to track, let's say your own phone or perhaps a family member's phone. And then with the app open, you simply set up a phrase that will trigger the app to send the last location of the device via WhatsApp. So you can set up the phrase to be location. And then whenever you send that phrase to the other device via WhatsApp, it will automatically send back its GPS coordinates as well as its battery level and network reception. And for those worried about privacy, the app doesn't store or collect any data. The information is just transferred through WhatsApp's encrypted channels. So a really, really cool app that has the potential to come in super handy. And then there's App Bar, which is a fantastic little app that allows you to create scrollable widgets filled with customized icons. There's three different widget modes to choose from. 
grid view, which at first glance resembles a pretty standard layout. But if you have more icons than rows, then you can actually scroll up or down on the widget to show all of your extra app shortcuts. Then there's stack view, which places each of your icons into a stack that you can then swipe through to change its order, which looks pretty cool. And then finally, there's list view, which places each of your apps into a vertical layout, which again, you can scroll up and down through. You can then adjust the sizing of your widgets to alter how many icons can be viewed before you need to scroll. And as I said, you can also customize every single icon to make it look exactly how you want it to. Not only is this a great app for adding custom icons to home screen launches that don't support icon theming, but it's also a perfect way to declutter a home screen without losing quick access to a bunch of your favorite apps. Okay, Confi Blur is a pretty niche little app, but it's one that makes de-identifying confidential information on screenshots a really quick and easy process. So if you've got a screenshot that needs to be made confidential, you just share it to the Confi Blur app and it'll then use OCR detection to automatically detect any text found within that screenshot. From there, you just swipe your finger over the text that needs de-identifying and Confi Blur will work its magic. You can also switch to a solid mode to fully black out details if you like, but it certainly makes the process of hiding details within documents a lot cleaner and as I said, much quicker as well. Second to last today is InSpot, which is a pretty fresh off the press application that allows you to take notes and capture ideas related to your favorite videos and podcasts. You simply tap this plus icon down here, then select the podcast or YouTube option. Then you search for whatever media you wanna take notes on. Then once you hit play, you'll see this little star icon down the bottom that when tapped will create what's called a moment. And that will be tied to the exact time duration of wherever your media is up to. You can then add a note to this moment or a bulleted list, and you can even tap this transcribe button and select a 30 second interval of your media to be automatically transcribed in the background. It's a pretty cool app that I think is definitely worth a try. And so finally today we have Sleep Town, which is a really useful and well-designed app for developing healthy sleep habits. The idea is that you set a bedtime goal and a wake up time goal that you'd like to achieve each day. And whenever you're about to go to sleep and it's before that bedtime goal, you tap the sleep button. The app will then start constructing a building that will only be completed if you remain asleep until it's within two hours of your wake up goal. Every single day that you achieve your sleep goals, the app will construct a brand new building for you. And you can build up streaks and even set up to two off days so that your streak isn't broken on the weekend, for example. It's such a cool concept and the design is seriously incredible. But that my friends is it. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. And as mentioned, I do also have a bunch of promo codes to give away for some of the apps featured in today's video. So a huge shout out to each of the developers on screen right now. And like I said, if you wanna get direct access to these promo codes, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the first week or so of this video going live, which you can do so using the link below. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.